three, Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Your Mark on the World show. I'm your host, Devin Thorpe. I'm a contributor at Forbes covering social entrepreneurship and impact investing. And we're really fortunate today to have a big wheel in the house. We, we have with us the CEO of Lululemon, uh, Laurent Poulevon. Laurent, welcome to the show. Devin, it's my pleasure. It's great to be here with you. Well, the pleasure is all ours. We appreciate you taking the time to do this. You've been involved with a very exciting project, more on a personal level than a corporate level, but you you recently bought or sold a home and were able to leverage the transaction in a way to provide a free home to someone in need. Tell us a little bit about how that worked. Well, it's, um, it's a program that um, a friend of mine, actually somebody that I met um, while I was uh, running Tom's Shoes, um, Blake Andrews. Blake had always had a passion for Nicaragua and um, when he left Tom's, um, started this uh, Give Back Home. So it's actually a membership for realtors. Um, they join Give Back Homes, and then when you sell a home, um, you, you take a portion of their commission, and you match the donation, and you actually build a home in Nicaragua. So when I actually sold my home in the South Bay to move up to Vancouver, um, it was very logical for me to um, work with Blake and. Um, and fortunately, my realtor was actually already a member of Give Back Home, so um, it was it was really something that was meant to be. And I'm really grateful that um, we were able to, you know, build a home for a family that never had one before. That, that is exciting. Do, do you remember anything about the family that you helped with the with the home? Yeah, um, I I haven't had the pleasure to meet them. I mean, I'd love to at some point go and um, build a home with Blake, but. Um, Gladys, um, Gladys was abandoned as a kid. She's married. Um, she's got two kids herself, 13 and 12, and um, they used to live in a, in a makeshift home, you know, with dirt floor. So when it would rain, it would be mud throughout the homes. And um, she's actually making um, tortilla. Her husband is selling bread on the street, and they're living on $200 a month. So, um, you know, the ability to provide a home for them um, was is something that um, that that means a lot um, and that um, having that that level of impact um, I'm very grateful for the work that uh, Blake, Blake's doing uh, it really is exciting to to, to see uh, that kind of help and to be a part of it on a personal level I, I I'm almost envious of the opportunity the Tell me a little bit about the culture at Lululemon and your philosophy on life that would make this a, a natural thing for you. You know, it's, um, I mean, Lululemon's grown um, in a very unique and powerful way. I mean, it's, um, we don't do any traditional marketing. I mean, it's been, uh, it's an environment that's grown by really building authentic, sustainable community. So, the way we go to market, I mean, we, we go into a community and we really take the time to understand the community, to connect with the right people in the community and to get pulled into the community before we actually um, build stores. So it's always been very community based. We've always had um, a very authentic social impact in all of our communities. What I'm really excited about bringing today as we grow globally, it's really to have a social impact that's really focused and that's scalable globally. So it's taking my Tom's experience, bringing that to Lululemon and really sort of building something that we're going to roll out um, towards the end of the year that's going to be very much aligned with our values around, um, you know, athleticism, mindfulness, um, and having an impact on a global scale. So we're going to do something that we've done really well and we're going to be focusing the program and scaling it. No, that's that's really exciting. Well, Laurent, you you have become a genuine icon, a role model to to millions. But who do you look up to as a role model? You know, at at, at the expense of sounding a little corny, um, having traveled um, to Haiti with former President Clinton and having been part of um, the Clinton Global Initiative. Um, President Clinton is um, somebody that I find 
tremendously inspiring. I mean, its ability to rally very diverse um, people around very focused issue and having a very significant impact is um, is something that I really look up to and, and the work that he's doing, I think is tremendously inspiring. Um, not to take anything away from my 13 year old daughter who just had massive back surgery and who's back in her junior lifeguard program every day at the beach. So I find that very inspiring as well. So yes. you, can, you can get your inspiration from many different places, but you know, these two individuals um, make me smile every time I think about them. Yeah. Well, that's, those are great examples. They really are. Uh, now you have chosen to be in, engaged in a business where you have an opportunity to be uh, socially engaged, to be socially minded, to, to be focused on not just uh, doing less harm, but doing good. Uh, you could be running any kind of business. You could be doing anything. Why, why this? Why do you care? You know, it's, um, I think it's, it's probably a lesson that, you know, um, I fully learned um, during my days at Tom's. I mean, I think it's for a long time, um, I think my mindset was, I'm going to have a great career, I'm going to do well, and then I'll focus the second part of my life on, on doing good. Um, and what I, what I realized is that pretty much every business um, and every individual has an opportunity to do well and to do good at the same time. Um, and so that's something that I'm really, really passionate about. I mean, it's, it's incredibly fulfilling. I mean, it feeds your soul every day. Um, and it's also, it's, it's not that difficult and it's very sustainable. So the idea of not, you know, waiting for the later part of your life to give back, but really build that in how you run your business and how you run your life is um, something that um, has a tremendous impact that's incredibly uh, gratifying and that anybody can do in some way, shape or form. That, well, uh, that's awesome. I mean, that really is uh, a, a great world view. Now, Laurent, uh, there are a lot of people watching this and they come from all walks of life. Some will be your customers, some will be other CEOs. But everyone that's coming to watch this show, I think, comes with one common interest, and that is they want to do more good in the world. Can you give us one actionable tip that would help us do more good in the world? Um, one tip. Um, well, I mean, maybe it's a, maybe I think about it in, in a three-way. I mean, it's, it's pick, pick an issue that you're passionate and committed to. Um, be focused, so don't try to solve everything for everybody. I mean, I think the trap is there are a lot of needs around the world, and as an individual or as an organization, you can't solve them all. So pick something that matters, where you can, where you're uniquely qualified to have an impact, um, and then don't wait until you feel that you're perfect to start. Start today. Um, and then you'll learn every step of the way and you'll get incrementally better. I remember my, my first trip to Haiti right after, um, right after the earthquake. I remember leaving Haiti and um, thinking that I didn't know where to start. I didn't know we could have an impact, um, almost at a loss with, with what to do. And following a couple trips and connecting with the right individuals who are actually able to help with education and we ended up actually building manufacturing in Haiti. Um, so don't wait, be focused and be committed um, and don't try to solve everything for everybody. Those are great insights, great insights and clearly they've, they've proved to be meaningful guides in the way you've approached things. Uh, well, Laurent, we really appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. I'm sure people want to engage with you to learn more. Uh, they may want to learn more about Give Back Homes. They want to learn more about Lululemon. What, what, uh, what's the best way for people to engage with you? Um, you know, I've got a public email address that's lp at lululemon.com. So it's my initials at lululemon.com. That might be the best way to, um, to connect. Fantastic. Well, we really thank you for taking the time to be with us today and wish you every success in the great work that you're doing. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's do some good. Thank you.